Looks like Joyless Murder Ball is back on the menu, boys. Will Anderson Jr. of the University of Alabama. Captain, my captain. Not only should he have been in New York City for the Heisman Trophy presentation last year, not only does he hold the record for second most sacks in school history, he's also bringing back the hate. During the press conference today, Will Anderson Jr., AKA, had some words to share with the public. Mr. Anderson said, quote, Coach Saban always talks about these hateful competitors, and I'm starting to kind of see what he was saying. It's fun. Last year, we had a couple of road games that were kind of bumpy, but I think it's really fun. Okay, maybe not joyless murder ball, but murder ball. We want fans to leave their own stadiums, and I think the message this week is we want fans to leave their own stadiums, and we're going to try to preach that all week. But go out there, have fun, do your job, and make sure the fans are leaving by the time halftime comes, or at least by the end of the third quarter. I love this, man. He went on to say, I tell people all the time, the audacity for the other team to even step on the field is disrespectful to me. <sighs> love this attitude. I think this is what's been missing from Alabama football for the past couple of years. So going forward, win or lose, at least we got back to the old adage that Coach Saban preached when he first got there. Now, what kind of football team that we want to do we want to have here? You know, we want to be a big, physical, aggressive football team that is relentless in the competitive spirit that we go out and play with week in and week out. And what I would like for every football team to do that we play is to sit there and say, I hate playing against these guys. I hate playing them. Their effort, their toughness, their relentless resiliency to go out every play and focus and play the next play and compete in the game for 60 minutes in the game, I can't handle. That's the kind of football team we want. Looks like Will Anderson definitely got the memo, and he's fired up that defense to make his ass quit. 